In this episode, things get a bit tense. What's the name of the lake? Um, Angry Wankers Pond, I believe. Oh, pond. It's, it's not actually a lake. It's no, a pond. No, it's just a pond. Oh. Give it a rest, Brent. I'm sick of your lies. We're off. Well, I've managed to find quite a juicy composition, actually. So I might just crop that in post. So I better get back down to my camera. So I've just set this shot up now. That's 60 seconds. My turn. What? That's what we agreed on. 60 seconds. My turn. So, uh... Oh. Ooh. Snug into it. Okay, that's that's a tight set. Yeah, that's delicious. No, your 60 no. seconds is up, Brent. He's been telling me about this wonderful girlfriend, and <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe she doesn't exist. She's here, actually. And pretend to be my girlfriend um, ju just on the bus ride back. That, that That's all. Yeah, I don't think so. She, she's at the campsite now, is she? You're going to clean up that saggy bag of noodles, you dirty Englishman? Clean it! So it's day three at the Lake O'Hara campground, and I'm over by the woodshed. And the reason why I'm here is because you can just hopefully see, in fact, I'll just take this shot way off in the distance there, just above the camera. I'm hoping you can see it. But there's these really pointy pinnacles, which are just part of this mountain here. And they're just wreathed in this misty cloud because it has not stopped raining in 24 hours. And actually, I didn't even notice this. Brent was waiting for his girlfriend to show up on the bus at the woodshed and then he spotted that. So when I came over, he said, get your telephoto. So that is exactly what I've done. And I've framed up quite an interesting vertical shot. I'll show you on the back of the camera what I've found. So what I'm going for, hopefully you can see it. I'll just make this a little bit darker. On the left, I have this quite knobbly peak and they'll just brighten up a bit. And on the right, you can see these peaks that are somewhat closer. And there's always these different layers. As the cloud comes in and then moves out, it reveals and then hides different layers. And I just find that really fascinating. And I, I already know what I'll do with the processing just to make this look even more moody. Now I've got a lot of dead space up here in the sky. And that's simply because my tripod ball head has <laughs> slowly sagged and rotated. It didn't start off like that, so I really should correct it. But it's quite difficult recording this video and keeping my camera dry all at the same time. So uh, if this shot turns out to be any good, here's the shot. We've waited around all day for this rain to turn into snow and it's finally happened. And would you believe it, we didn't even bother to hike anywhere thinking there would be no chance of light. And I can now see in the west this pink, almost sort of vanilla glow in the sky. So I'm kind of annoyed we didn't go somewhere, but Brent has an idea in mind. Uh, he hasn't told me what it is yet, but apparently it requires a telephoto lens, which I have, uh, mm. which means I have to lend it to him. Mm. Uh, and I'm going to want to get the same shot. So uh, if we just limit it to like 60 seconds each on the lens and then we swap, all right? Like five minutes. 60 seconds. That, that's sufficient. Well, I mean, you can trust me because I'll be the one with the timer. So it's going to be legit. So I don't think it's too far. What, what's the name of the lake? Um, Angry Wankers Pond, I believe. Oh, pond. It's, it's not actually a lake. It's no, a pond. No, it's just a pond. Oh. So can you see these clouds behind us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we, we didn't go anywhere, did we? No, we didn't. Well, we're going now a bit late, as per usual. Yeah. So we're not going to get any of that <laughs> epic light that's kicking up <laughs> right behind us. <laughs> we're not going to get that. Uh, we're going in this direction. No, that's okay. The shot that uh, that we're going for, we don't need any sky whatsoever. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I feel better about that. Not going to lie, I'm quite annoyed with myself. Ye of little faith. If only I'd known while I was in that hut eating disgusting noodles that this light was going off and this mountain was afire. I just couldn't predict it because we were completely socked in with snow, but if I'd have had some faith, I would have had a killer shot. But all was not lost because I had a backup plan. So you might remember this spot from last year, in September in fact, and what I was going for then was a sunset shot. And if you remember that video, you might recall that I stuck around in the hopes that these cabins over on the other side of the lake there would light up at blue hour. And they never did because they were unoccupied. 
but this year they've opened the place up again and so there's a good chance I mean I can only just, I can see that the main lodge is uh, lit up and I think one of them is lit up so there's a good chance that all of these might light up and give me a really beautiful blue hour shot where you've got that warm glow contrasting with that cold blue background so that is the hope I've composed a pretty similar shot I'm gonna wait out a little bit longer and see if those lights come on if they do I'll get that shot but let me show you the composition anyway <laughs> honestly it's quite simple and obvious to be to be quite honest with you I've put this peak slap bang in the center of the frame and you've got these lovely rocks in the foreground and I've taken the polarizer completely off so that I've got a full reflection and if I just darken this up a little bit you can see that there's still a slight bit of color in the sky there but not much and it is supposed to be a waxing gibbous moon I think tonight so the moon may pop up over there and give me a moonscape if I can get that with these cabins lit up which, which you can just see you can just see the cabins right in the center of the frame there if I could get that that would be absolutely magnifique now you may have noticed that I'm shooting with the Sony and that's because the Fuji just doesn't have a lens wide enough but would the Sony be able to do it justice? Well, I'm quite happy with the shot that I've got just there. Yeah. But cool. is, is that what you had in mind? No, it wasn't. The The light was kicking off and we just sort of scrambled to, to oh. stop, right? So, um, no, we're going to go check it out now if you're still game. So where is it? Um, about 45 minutes that way. You're joking, aren't you? No, it's about 10. Right, so just on the way to this spot that Brent was talking about, I just found this beautiful telephoto peak shot. So I've just set this shot up now and just... Uh, Give you an idea what this is. That's 60 seconds, my turn. What? That's what we agreed on, 60 seconds, my turn. Pass it over. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna lend Brent my telephoto, but uh, we don't have enough reach uh, with the um, 100 to 300. So we're gonna put it, the tele- It's a 100 to 200. We don't have enough reach with the 100 to 200. So we're gonna put the teleconverter on and see if we can get a little bit closer to where we need to be. So do you, I've never done this before, Brent. Can you put that on for me and show me how it's done? So, uh, oh. Just, uh, it's just behind the shit the... tickets. Just move the shit tickets oh, out. Oh, man. Yeah, there you go. Right here. Yeah, hey? so. Oh, gross. How do we get that well, that's onto pretty, this bugger? Pretty interesting turn, maybe? Oh, yeah. A little insertion. Oh, hang on. Where's the red dots here? Okay. Just shove it in. Oh. Oh, it's like, oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Tight. Ooh. Snug into it. Okay, that's that's a tight fit. Right, so you just wang that on your lens yeah. and then the, on the camera. Let's wang it on. Okay. Right, get your hands off that. Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Get that bugger on there. Oh. oh. Wow. What a beat. Yeah, that's delicious. Right, so you can't see this, but basically, in the distance, there are some huts. You might just be able to see a little glow in the distance there on the other side of Angry Wanker's Pond. And he's trying to focus now with live view. I'm sorry to say um, it's uh, it's a little short there, pal. You, my length is not quite sufficient? No. So for this type of thing, you don't use autofocus, you use manual? Yeah, I would, yeah. It's just a little bit dark. Okay, where is our little blue dot there? You turn that wheel until it's sharp. Keep going. Uh -huh. Oh, oh you're going too far. Uh-huh. Well, it's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that took a bit of doing, didn't it? That took some turning. I, I was turning the wrong Jeez. I was turning the wrong guy. Oh, okay, so he's focusing on the window of that uh, cute little hut. It's too short. In terms of your composition with this shot, because you can't really see what you're doing, because it's pretty much almost dark now, you gotta do test shots. 
see how it looks and then readjust your composition. What I usually do in that instance is I'll just crank the ISO to something ridiculous, something that I wouldn't actually use. But I'll just take shorter exposures just so I can get quicker to my composition and it uses less battery life as well. So, little tip for you there, Brent. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna take one last shot here, okay? Uh, no, actually, it's uh, no, 60 no, seconds. I, no, no your 60 no. seconds is up, Brent. It's my turn now. So did you get your shot then? Yeah, it turned out quite well. I mean, your lens was a little short, but... Yeah, well... Yeah, do you want to get the same shot? Well, let's have a look. Let's see what you... Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Um... um. I'll give it a miss. I'll just get my lens back. Thanks. Are we getting up for sunrise tomorrow? Oh yeah, I am excited about that. Can we go back to that spot that we went to yesterday morning? Yeah, I'm and really pumped about maybe that. Maybe get a sunrise shot there. Oh, if we can get some Alpen glow on those mountains. <laughs> oh man. Well, it's time to eat some Ichiban noodles and then go to bed. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm sleeping in a different tent than you. Ooh. Is your girlfriend going to show up tomorrow? Because he's been telling me about this wonderful girlfriend and <laughs> I'm starting to think maybe she doesn't exist. Oh yeah, she's here actually. She's here? Yeah. Right, right now? Well, not here, here, but over there, here. At the campsite? Yeah. yeah. So if I go to the campsite, she'll be there? Yeah, I think she's probably chatting on Mand up at this point. Mm, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, what a surprise. Nobody was up and about when we got back to the campsite. So we just called it a night and went to bed. The next morning, we got up at misery o'clock and staggered to the warming hut, which at this time of day should be called a freezing hut. Well, it's day four up at Lake O'Hara. This is our last chance of getting any kind of epic shot. <clears throat> and we're gonna go back up to that spot that we went up on the first morning. And I'm quite hopeful, quite hopeful that we're gonna get some light. I think we will. There's a few stars still out. Clouds are moving. Well, that's our last chance, isn't it? We're doing it either way. So we're just gonna finish these cups of bowel lubrication make a deposit and then head on up. Do you need any uh, tape for your heels? I've put some tape on already, so it okay. should be all right. Yeah, you're growing. I'll never do that again. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just inside a hut here. This is just a, a little hut for the, for the campers with a fireplace there. And uh, the fire's not on because it's 5 a.m. So we're freezing, we're absolutely freezing. Now the ladies, um, they're, they both had a really cold night and they both separately decided not to come up. Well, he's using they. I still haven't seen his girlfriend yet. Mm. So, I mean, Amanda's in her sleeping bag. I had to put my sleeping bag on top <laughs> of her because she was so cold. And apparently there's a lady in your tent that hasn't seen her. So. Mm. One day. Mm. Yeah. One day the cows will fly. <laughs> So now we're on the trail and we've only been on it five minutes on the flat and even though it's zero degrees celsius i've started to sweat so it's time to de-layer brent stripping off and now we're just going to head straight up the hill now i'm not trying to be lazy but we did this the other day we filmed all this b-roll so uh i'm just going to recycle that b-roll <laughs> here we go yeah i'm saving the planet one recycled clip at a time Except for this clip. This one I actually did film on the day. So after another uphill slog in the ice and the snow, we realized we'd have to change our expectations. All right, so we've hiked up the mountain and we've reached this viewpoint and we, we actually had to bail on our plans to go to the same viewpoint that we went to the other day because all of this ice and snow is just sketch armor and we've both slipped a couple of times it's not worth it, especially when there's so many other little ledges like this where you can get a fantastic view. So we've set up on this little trail here and I found a beautiful composition. And as always, Brent just plonks himself right in the middle and stands right in my composition.
I actually didn't mind Brent being in the shot, but it did require me to ditch the Fuji GFX 100S and go smaller so that I could go bigger with the Sony a7R 4 Well, I've managed to find quite a juicy composition actually. Slap bang on the trail. And what I'm looking at here, obviously I've got the mountains and the lake in the background. I'll just flip this round and show you what I'm looking at. I've got this cute little ledge of snow in my foreground. And then these trees here, some very, very tiny trees that are just catching this little bit of snow in their needles, which looks kind of cute. And so that's my foreground. And obviously there's the lake and the background. Quite juicy actually. And even with this crap, boring, alcoholic grey light, slate coloured, I could get a perfect shot if I got a Reflexion. If I can get a Reflexion, I can, I can do something with this. But let me show you the back of the camera and you see this composition. Okay, so I'll just brighten things, overexpose it a little bit so you can see what's going on. So there's, here's that little hump in the foreground there and then these little trees here and I've pushed the peak right up to the top of the frame so it's enjoying that lens distortion and there's the lake I just need that reflexion now what I might do I actually feel like there's a little bit too much foreground and that's because I've tilted the camera down so much to elongate that peak so I actually might crop a bit of this out so that it'll probably be a 16 by 9 like that just so that the balance is a little bit better because I don't like shots where the foreground takes up 50% of the frame. I, mean, I would say that that's probably about 30, 35%. So I might just crop that in post and that might end up being my composition, but uh, I'm quite happy with this shot. I just need some light and a reflexion and then I've got a belter of a shot. Anyway, while I'm waiting for anything to happen with the light or the lake reflection, I'm getting a little bit hungry and it is cold. so. I'll just warm up with some delicious Ichiban noodles. Right, so here's my breakfast of champions. I've got my uh, Ichiban beef noodles, which I've laced with beef jerky. And uh, if you have read the book, Chasing All with Gavin Hardcastle, you'll know that I am periodically vegetarian, but I fell off the wagon and I'm eating meat again for a while. I, I do feel bad about it, but I've got no excuse. But anyway, it's a delicious meal. It's a delicious, delicious meal. And you know what makes it really good? Is the MSG. Oh yeah. Just f***ing stand that shit in there. Ooh, bloody typical. Now that I've stopped to eat a hot breakfast, clouds start lighting up. I mean, that's not in my composition, but it might just happen over here. So I better get back down to my camera. Bloody hell. Looking forward to them noodles. But in my haste to return, I was struck by a wave of gross incompetence, ending in disaster. <laughs> I just spilled me noodles. I just lost my entire breakfast. Look at this crap. Well, some might call this karma for being a pathetic failed vegetarian. <sighs> but on the plus side, have a look at this business. really enjoy this more subtle and moody atmosphere that's so typical of the Canadian Rockies and I definitely feel very lucky to have witnessed this moment in time. Well I got a nice shot but I'm rather upset about my Ichiban noodle breakfast ending up on the trail. <laughs> it looks like you threw up all over the trail. It does, it looks like someone barfed. I, I'm gonna have to clean that up, I, I can't just leave that there can I? Yeah and scoop up some of the dirt so the smell isn't there. 
Yeah, accidents happen, but uh, yeah, it's not ideal. It's gonna get bears on the trail. I brought a big Ziploc bag. We'll we'll scoop it into there. Yeah, we'll scoop it up and get rid of it. Yeah. So this this girlfriend, Brent. Yeah. Um, she's awesome. She, she's at the campsite now, is she? Yeah, I think she's sleeping, sleeping away. She's cozy in her sleeping bag. Hmm. What do you mean? Nothing. It's just. Uh, oh, tell me, tell me what you mean there. Well, it's just a bit odd, isn't it? Like every time you mention that she's going to show up, she never shows up, and uh, you know, talk about her a lot. But yeah, it's just bad timing, I guess. But uh, she's cozy in her sleeping bag. She's definitely in the tent right now. Uh, well, she might be at the hut now, right. eating breakfast. You never know. We'll see. So we'll, we'll see her on the bus back down then, won't we? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, she'll be on the bus yeah. going down the hill. All right. <laughs> you, you, you don't trust me. No, I do. I just think... <clears throat> I mean, I, I've been alone for a long time, you know, so... Yeah, so maybe... So that I finally found somebody. Maybe you've invented a friend. What do you mean? What do you mean? Is that what you mean? Well, I mean, you know, everyone's gone into lockdown and all that, you know. Yeah. Everyone's lonely. People invent things to keep them... <laughs> wow. You know, maybe that's what you've done, you know. Wow. How dare you. Oh, by the way, that's uh, to, to all my British viewers. Uh, wow, in Canadian, is just means I'm offended. It doesn't actually mean "Whoa, look at this!" Wow is what someone says when they're upset and they've just been offended. It's weird, isn't it? You don't say that in, in England. No, wow means I am in awe at this scene. It's a wow moment, not "Oh my God, I'm offended." <laughs> Such drama. Yeah. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to uh, meeting this girlfriend of yours. Yeah, yeah. Not exist. So I did the right thing and cleaned up my mess, but then Brent got all weird. Mm, use your fingers. Oh, yeah. Dig your fingers in the dirt. Oh, yeah. I was really looking forward to that. Come on, clean it! Mm. Clean it! You gonna clean up that saggy bag of noodles, you dirty Englishman? Oh, yeah. I don't know what had got into Brent, but it was time to pack up and leave. I can only assume that he was jealous that my camera had double the resolution. Or maybe he was jealous that my girlfriend actually exists in the real world. So we're up back down to the campsite after a relatively successful shoot. And she'll, she'll definitely be there, won't she? Yeah, she should either be in the tent or uh, warming by the fire, I imagine. I imagine too. But imagine my surprise. Where's this girlfriend then? Ben? Oh, um, well the bus isn't here yet, so she's just warming herself in the hut there, yeah. So if I, if I go in the hut, she's there then, is she? She'll be there now. Uh, uh, maybe, she might be in the washroom as well. I, I Give it a rest, Brent. I'm sick of your lies, we're off. Hi there, um, my, my name's Brent. This is a little bit embarrassing, but I've been telling my friends that I have a girlfriend and, um, okay. and, and I don't. And I was sort of hoping you'd maybe do me a favor and pretend to be my girlfriend um, ju just on the bus ride back, that, that, that's all. Yeah, I don't think so. Is there any way I could pay you in, in chocolate? Is it milk chocolate or dark chocolate? It's milk chocolate, do you like that? Sea salted caramel? It is actually. Okay. I'm good with that. Okay, yeah, it's just in my bag there. Okay. Oh, it was so nice to be able to catch the bus down the hill. Sorry, I forgot to ask what your name was. Sandra. Sandra. Um, Karen. Sorry? It's got to be Karen today, okay? Okay, I'm okay. Karen. Okay, here you go. This isn't even a full bar. Uh, you'll, get, you'll get the rest later. Hey, Gavin. I'll just uh, walk you to your car here. We got to make it look uh, legitimate for just a short time here. All right. That's Brent. Oh yeah, Gavin. Yeah. So this is, is this Karen then? Yeah, it is. Hi Karen. Hi Karen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I I've got to apologize. I'm really sorry. Yeah. I told you the whole time. She seems lovely. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry that I doubted you. I promise I will never doubt you again. No. Yeah. It's, she's so one. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's just a little shy. Isn't she a nice mm -hmm. shoe just feeds me chocolate? Mm -hmm. Let me let me walk you let me walk you to your car here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Something doesn't quite add up here. Mm, yeah, you sure. <laughs> We're never gonna get this done. We're never gonna get this done. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, you ready? Mm, use your fingers. <laughs> all this squatting, I'm gonna shit myself from all the laughing. Yeah, clean it. Clean it, you dirty bat. <laughs> It's one line! I can't do it! <laughs> it's, it's one line and you can't do it! Clean it! Deeper! <laughs> Dig your fingers in the dirt. Oh yeah. Clean it! <laughs> Come on, clean it! Clean it, you dirty bat. <laughs> you almost got it! Clean up that saggy bag of noodles! <laughs> I'm gonna shit myself. You need to clean up that saggy bag of noodles. <laughs> clean up that sag. <laughs> clean up that saggy bag of noodles, you bastard. <laughs> you dirty Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty Englishman. <sighs> Clean up that saggy bag of new. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna clean up that saggy bag of noodles? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> You gonna clean up that saggy bag? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What's that on your heel there, sir? That's lunch. Oh, that is gross. You suffer for your craft, I guess. I got a blister there too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Big blood blister. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to pop that with my teeth. Yeah, you nibble it. Oh, nibble it. Great, <laughs> <laughs>